All right, an extra quick, quickity, quick, quick take on the Hyphaman HE560. I was not actually planning to review these. Mr. Eretz sent them to me, and uh, you know I kind of liked them, so I thought I'd I'd uh, share some love. Um, these are in the same form factor as like the HE400 SE and the HE6 SE V2, um, and then some other things like the what is it, the HE500 maybe and the um, five. HE5 SE, which I don't think either of those two are in production anymore, um, which is why I may or may not have gotten the actual numbers correct. Um, but so of these of these three uh, in the same sort of headband form factor, you've got the HE400i, uh, now the SE, and that's sort of 130-ish price. These guys are MSRP $900. No, 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 no. Don't pay that. Um, they're definitely not a $900 headphone. They go on sale on Adorama for like 300 bucks. That's about right. Um, and then you've got the HE6 SE V2, which again has some crazy MSRP of like 1800 bucks or something, but are really like six or $700 headphones. So that's sort of the tier of this line. I don't know if this is a line, but they share all the parts. So I can't help but sort of think of them together and compare them together. Um, they all have the 3.5 millimeter connectors. Yay. This headband's pretty comfortable for me overall. These feel light. Um, they're not light, but they feel light <laughs> compared to like the HE6. Um, and yeah, they're 90 dB. So they're relative. They're not, they're not super efficient. 45 ohm. Um, you can drive them. They're not too hard to drive, but they definitely, I think you get a lot more performance if you give them a, a more powerful, uh, amp for sure. Um, like I said, pretty comfortable. So sound signature wise, uh, I'd say, you know, it's a nice, relaxed, satisfying listen. It's just an enjoyable headphone. Nothing sort of jumps out at you immediately as like, oh, this headphone's about this or that characteristic. It's just a really nice all around or big planar headphone. Uh, if you've heard something like the 400, uh, HE400 SE, it's like a big brother of that. I mean, it's a natural progression up from that headphone. You know, it's got that high feminine sort of smooth kind of rich tonality of, of you know really leaning into that planar sound um i think what stands out for me are like the the lower mids have a nice thickness to them and then sort of the treble region the twangy region is pretty twangy um and that's a nice comp you know that's a nice uh they, they complement each other well um if you're sort of more focused on instrumental music though i think jazz orchestral music, um, strings, uh, things of that nature really are nice and enjoyable to this. When I was listening, I think the mid range is maybe a little bit flat for me, um, or just maybe a little bit lacking detail or, or energy or something like listening to, to vocals and stuff. Um, just didn't really pull me in. I think I, I never got, got like that goosebump vibe on an amazing vocal that I would on other headphones. Um, and sometimes I wanted it to be a little snappier, a little, a little quicker, a little more impact. Um, but again, maybe that's not really what this headphone's about, you know? Um, maybe this headphone is about just that kind of all day listen that's like, you know, never really unsatisfying, never really, you know, pulling your attention or driving you crazy, just kind of like letting you jam and enjoy the music. And, and I think there's should be room for that in the listening world. Um, if you look at something like the uh, HE6, you know, that's going to be a lot drier, a lot sharper, a lot crisper, bigger sound stage, more impact. Um, and if you go down to like the 400, you know, that's going to be a little more muddy, a little less separation, a little less sort of twang and articulation in the upper region. Um, so it does kind of sit in between the two of them. I don't know if it's like a perfect scale from one to the one to the next in terms of price or resolution or whatnot, but... Um, it, it's an interesting headphone at 300 bucks. Is it for everybody? I don't know. Um, used for 200, is it for everybody? Maybe. <laughs> um, but if you, if you like an easier listening sound, if you like a little more warmth, a little more richness, um, if you do want some high end detail, and if you're not like a big time vocals fan, then this is definitely something that, that I would, I would put in your consideration set for sure. For sure. Um, cause it is, it's, it's a real, just nice, enjoyable listen. Um, is that like the worst thing you could say? It's like, it's a real nice, enjoyable listen. All right. Good enough. Signcraft signing out. <laughs>